Hi friends, welcome back. In today's session, we will be discussing about the initial data load using uh, initial uh, data load in Golden Gate. We will be discussing about a method file to database utility. For this axis, we have certain um, we have a source and the target. The to the source IP address is 10.17.57.36, uh, and the um, source database name is source. The Golden Gate administrator user is gg underscore admin, and the source scheme is src. And the table what we are going to uh, replicate is supplier. Okay, and the target is uh, the the target's IP address is 10.17.57.37. The DB name target DB name is test. Golden Gate uh, scheme is GG underscore admin there as also. The source scheme is SRC on the target, and the table name is supplier. So these are the information that is required for us. And as a first step, we have started our uh, let's go, let's connect to the server. And the first step uh, for the um, initial data load is the Golden Gate Manager should be up and running on both source and the target. I connect to uh, the first machine. This is my source. Let's clear ping Vaishith. 11g r56 okay you can see that it is 10.17.57.56 i have already installed the golden gate um uh, golden uh, uh, i'm not going through the uh, the steps of installing the golden gate uh, in this session who, who are interested please watch the previous videos on golden gate software installation so i'm on my golden gate home directory i'm starting the or connecting to golden gate by using uh, the golden gate uh, command line inter interpreter that is ggsci okay and i'll just check the command info ngr okay the manager is up and running here the same way i'll be connecting to the target as well this is my golden gate go home directory why should slash uh, gg underscore home is the home golden gate home directory ggsci info mgr here also manager is uh, running on the port number 7810 okay that's more important for us the which is a port number at which manager is running is important for us now let's see any if there is any records on the uh, target database i'm connecting to us sql plus select count star from src dot supplier There is no tables. Uh, there is no records out there. Let's see the the count of um, count on the target for the Golden Gate to be uh, doing the replication. Here we are not do going ahead of the DDL replication. So the tables should be existing on both um, uh, on the um, both source and the target before this replication. So that is one of the mandatory. Um, Thing for Golden Gate uh, um, replication. So let's see what is uh, how many records are there on. The, there are three records are there on the uh, source. Okay. So the next one is that we have to configure a special type of uh, replicate and a special type of extract that is known as initial load extract and initial load replicate. So <coughs> how does it works is that the initial load uh, extra, uh, extract I have created the parameter file for the initial load uh, extract. Let's open the parameter. We are, I have created the parameter file on DRPRM directory under my Golden Gate home directory init uh, ext dot prm so my uh, extract initial load extract name is init ext so let's see what are the contents of the parameter file for that extract 
okay the first parameter mentioned is a sources table which means this extract is going to extract from the, uh, the source of this uh, extract is table that means it is going to read from the uh, table directly for the replication and we have setting the environment variable set env uh, oracle underscore sid equal to source that means the environment it is going to connect to the source database and then user id the golden gate administrator user id and the password the next two lines are important here we are specifying a remote host to which uh, it, it means that to which host the replication is going to take place so remote host that is nothing but our target name is 10.17.57.57 and the manager port number 7810 we have seen uh, in our pre previous uh, example that uh, what is the port number at which the target uh, server manager is running it is at 7810 okay and next two lines that format ascii and the sql order indicates that here the extract is going to write to a file which is formatted in the ascii format and it's also it's also indicated that it is formatted in the uh, format where which the database load utilities like the sql order for oracle or load uh, utility for the db2 will be able to read it so the output will be formatted in a, um, uh, in a way that the sql order of oracle and the load utilities of db2 can use this output file okay and the third file the third line the next line is a remote file to which file this extract is going to write remote file indicates that this extract is not going to write to a local file rather it is going to create a file on the remote host which is mentioned here so remote file dear dot init load dot dot which means the output is going to uh write to a file I, we can we can here make a small difference we can give the um, file name as supplier.dat itself supplier.dat which is the table which is going to replicate so remote file equal to da.dat supplier.dat so the output will will create a file uh, called the supplier.dat on the target and uh, we are specifying a file uh, the size of the um, uh, the uh, remote file which can be created which is the maximum size support is 2 uh, mb and it will be purged um, as, as and when more than uh, size is coming the data will get purged and the next line is the table which is a source table here the uh, table is source dot supplier so the important parameters here, here is a remote host format ask sql order and remote file uh, these are the three lines uh, is more of importance so let's save this file we will not be starting the replicate um, uh, initial replicate now we, once we are configure the once we configure the parameter for the init, initial replicate in, init load replicate then we will be starting that uh, the initial extract so let goes to the tar target and there also i do have the um, parameter file created so va dar prm slash init rep.pr okay here uh, a small change i'll be making because i wanted to make sure that uh, the files names are consistent okay here the first line is said generate load file gen load file sql loader.tpl so which indicates that the once this replicate is running it should generate the load files which is compatible for the sql loader utility so if you are using the db2 uh, if you are replicating a db2 you will be specifying instead of sql loader you would you will be uh, specifying the template that is suitable for db2 uh, db2 or else if you are going to replicate to, uh, to a sql server you will be using the template that is suitable for the sql server here we are giving the template which is suitable for the um, oracle and uh, it is being mentioned by the keyword gen load files and this uh, template file will be create will be available as a part of the installation in the golden gate home directory and the next line we are specifying the uh, golden gate environment variable that is the oracle seed to which you are connecting and as usual the golden gate administrator user and the password and here we are specifying the next line we are specifying the extract trail file what is the source for this, uh, this replicate it is nothing but the um, it is nothing but the um, 
uh, trail file which is created by the uh, initial load uh, replicate so it is dir that supply dot that and then assume target definitions here we are telling that the table uh, um, the extract it is assuming that the table structure is same as that of the source if if the if it is difference if some difference is there then you must generate the table definition by using the def gen utility and you have to specify source def keyword and specify the file which contains the uh, source tables definition in our case both the tables are having the same structure so we don't have to um, give any other parameter we can just ask um, the initial load extra replicate to assume the definition the target tables definition is the same as that of the source table and now we'll be going for a mapped uh, table here we are going to map src dot supplier equal to src dot supplier on the target so we are done with the um, uh, the configuration of our extract and replicate parameter now let's run the uh, extract on the source I can specify um, let's clear in so I'm going to run the extract on the uh, source by giving the command extract it is there already there in my history so let me take uh, quickly that will be easier than typing okay so here here you can see that I am executing uh, the command by extract parameter file is equal to drprm init ext dot prm report file is equal to drp drrpt init ext dot rpt so I am calling my uh, the extract with the uh, information of the parameter file and the replicate file which I uh, report file so the parameter file which I uh, is already created and the report file will get created as the job is executing let's execute it okay um, job is running it's completed now how we'll be able to find out whether the job was successfully completed by viewing this report file okay we can view the rpt file in it ext.rpt if you come to the bottom of this one we can see that how many files got replicated fine so the count was three now we'll go to the target and we'll see whether this file is created okay cd tar dat i'm on the target okay let's see whether a supply dot that file is created a file called a supply dot that is created cat supply dot that you can see that there are three lines on that fine now the next step is that we have to run the so uh, point to be noted i am not running the replicate until the the extract is completed now i'll be running the replicate so this command also I'm taking going to take from my uh, history so I'm just going to run the uh, uh, replicate parameter file is equal to dr uh, prm init uh, uh, rep dot prm report file is equal to report file so let's copy it and execute it okay once the job is co successfully completed we uh, how we will be able to know again we have to look at the report file so let me look at the uh, dr rpt init the corresponding report file okay come to the bottom if it is successfully created then we will be getting the two lines load files generated successfully and the files created for the lo uh, loader initiation is supply dot run and supply dot ctl that means based for that what are the table name it is there based on that it will be creating a run file and a control file let's go to uh, the uh, run file and the control file it's good it will get created under the golden gate home directory because we execute from there vi supplier dot run file okay so supplier dot run file you can see that it is um, uh, running it is calling the sql sql loader utility with the golden gate username and password and the control file is supplier that means the control file used for this activity will be supplier dot ctl log equal to supplier which means the log file which is going to get created will be supplier dot log now let's open the supplier dot control file vi supplier dot 
CTL. Okay, you can see that the extract C index for the uh, load. Here there are certain changes to be uh, made because the supply dot that file the location is different. So we will be giving um, the exact path that is why should gg underscore home slash dar dat slash supply dot dat. Okay, there is a path for the um, the dat file. Okay, and table name also we have to prefix with the schema name. These are the changes to be made. SRC dot supply. Okay, so uh, I'm specifying here. If you're looking here, uh, it is a uh, unrecorded because it is not going to go with the uh, logging mode. It's loading the data. The input file is the uh, the dat file is supply dot dat file, which is on the da dat directory under the golden gate home directory. That's a path we given actually, and it truncates the table and the load the data into the table. Okay, save this, and now uh, let's run the run uh, uh, that run command dot slash supplier dot run okay load is completed logical record count is 3 we will be looking at the log file va supplier dot log okay you can see that the total records read is 3 okay so the uh, supplier uh, and also we can see that it has loaded indexes also the uh, this table had a primary key so it also uh, inserted the indexes that is required for and it's clearly say that three rows are successfully loaded and we can confirm it by directly connecting to the database and uh, selecting account select count star from supplier dot sorry src dot you can see that the count is done so in this method um, the the st the process got completed successfully in this method the extract is going to um, create a, a, a dat file and once the replicate is running it will be creating a run file and the control file we have to modify the control file to point to the exact location of the dat file and also we have to add the uh, schema name as a prefix to the table once once that is uh, the replicate once it's created it creates the control file and the uh, run file remember the replicate is not loading the data to the table but it's create the control file and the run file after that we have to run the um, run file which loads the data using the oracle's sql loader utility hope this session is clear thank you